Art is important to me personally. It, it helps me express myself for sure. It takes me away from any stress that there might uh, be around me or in my life because when you're working on a painting you really have to concentrate on it. You have to think about it and, and the world just doesn't intrude on that. But the other part that is important to me is how art connects me with other people. For a while I was doing abstract work and worked on doing you know fairly large abstract pieces but after a certain point I felt the need to include figures in my paintings. It kind of had been a thread off and all throughout my art career to do faces and figures. It was something that has always appealed to me. But I kind of felt stuck. So I had kind of a mentor come and coach me for a little bit. And the most powerful thing that she said to me was that she said, Laura, I know you and I don't see anything personal in the work that you've been doing. And I think you just need to make it more personal. And I want to see you in the paintings. So that was dramatic. It was a light bulb that went on in my head. Oh. <laughs> so that pretty much changed how I approached my work from then on. When people give me praise for my work, it's really not a very comfortable place to be because, of course, people are going to be complimentary. Although, in the back of my mind, I kind of wonder, am I really that good? It, 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 helps, to, it helps to be validated. It's great to be validated, and I, I, I love that, but uh, being in the spotlight is not really a great place for me to be. I'm just trying to learn to get used to it and get comfortable with it. Some people call it realism, but I don't like to think of it as realism. It's very contemporary. Maybe the word disrupted realism works too. I like to do the painting, create the figure or the face, and then do something to disrupt the edges and the surface of it and just make it a, an exciting visual experience. So my work is about human relationships, human emotions, social awareness, and empathy. And I think that pretty well sums up what I'd like for people to think about my art. Almost nobody is really good at the very beginning. And if it's really something that you want to do, make a lot of art, because that's how you find your voice, that's how you improve your technical skills. That's how you just learn how to be an artist. So make lots of art.